Uh, I have some examples of um, usage of position absolute with mean, minimum width and minimum height properties. Also can be used with max width and max height properties. So the first scenario is that uh, the, the most the more general scenario. Um, also, uh, how th those properties work. Um, using these properties, uh, we can set limits on element width and element height. And also, important note is that uh, they don't accept uh, negative values. So I already have a code here. So let's see the first example. So we have our main with position relative, which sets uh, the position and context context for for this div uh, to which we gave position absolute some offsets like top, bottom, left, and right, and we give we give this div a minimum width and minimum height. Okay, so in this situation that the element, the div, will not get smaller. So it doesn't matter what, the, what is the size of the containing block. So here, uh, here's what we have. Okay, so this is our position div. Let's see here. So it's mean width 10 a.m. and mean height uh, 20 a.m. So just out of curiosity, if we go to inspect, let's see what happens here. So our containing block is 15 by 15. Inspect, we see. Mean width 10 a.m. and uh, mean height 20 a.m. So if we go to computed value, just see what it's what it shows here. Okay, so it's mean it evaluates. to 20 a.m. and 10 a.m. Okay, so it's 320 by 160. So I'm in height, oh yes, so 2320 pixels and 10 a.m. by 160 pixels. Okay, I just evaluate, so, so it, it can't it, it can't grow less. I mean, it cannot be less than this uh, these values. So it's pretty straightforward. So another scenario that we have is this. Okay, same position relative uh, on the container and div here we have uh, position again absolute sum of sets uh, but uh, to note um, in this example what's, what's to note here is we gave uh, bottom auto and we gave uh, height auto so uh, what happens here is uh, we, so basically we removed the minimum height and so basically in this example the element uh, will be 40% wide in relation to its container 
so if the container say if the container which is main if it's 100% uh, so because uh, because the default value for width is auto so the calculation here is 100% uh, of the container minus left of set 50 and then minus right of set 10% so which leaves us with the width of the diff of uh, 40% uh, however it can it cannot be less than 10 am okay so and the uh, when we remove the height uh, when we, we when we put the height auto the content will become just uh, like uh, tall enough to accommodate to accommodate the content of the div so let's see what happens here okay so you see um, it just tall enough to accommodate this text but it's uh, uh, it's minimum uh, minimum uh, of uh, minimum minimum width is at 10 a.m. okay so and the next scenario I have is what happens in the event of max widths so max widths meaning if we set max widths it can the element cannot grow wider than than the max widths property so let's see Okay, so we, we gave it the width of, uh, again, we have a container which is uh, the width of 600%. Uh, we gave it, we gave the width of of the D if it's 80%. Uh, let's see how much is 80% of the 600. Okay, so So we calculate percentage. So eighty percent of six hundred will get to four hundred eighty. So in this case, But um, yeah, 480. But because we gave it the max width of uh, 300 pixels, it won't grow wider than uh, 300 pixels. Okay, let's see what happens here. Let's go. I'm gonna do inspect. Okay, with 80 percent, a max width is 300 pixels. But if we go to computed value, max width is uh, 300 pixels on the diff, and the width also becomes uh, 300 pixels. But say if we remove max width. Just to see the difference, how it works. So we remove max widths, so the element becomes inspect with 600. So, sorry, this one with 80 percent. So evaluates to. 80% evaluates to 800, uh, sorry, 80% uh, evaluates to 480 pixels. Okay, 80%. 
Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to share today. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.